Good morning and welcome back to yet another video. Coffee, check. Acai bowl, check. Life is good. Today's video is gonna be different than pretty much all the 450, 60, 80 videos on this channel. And I wanna talk about three big updates, massive updates that we're doing as a business, as a company, but also some lessons. And I strive to create as much value as I can in every video we create. And even an update video is gonna be no different. Now, I wanna talk about one thing before we get into the updates, and that's change. I remember reading, and it took a while for it to land, but I remember reading about the idea that change is, is, is the easy part. Change is inevitable. Change is always happening. We're always fighting to stay the same. And we'll expend a ton of energy, we'll expend a ton of resources, we'll make up stories, we'll do whatever it takes to stay the same because there's comfort in staying the same. But change is always, it's, it's, it's the only thing that's true. Everything is changing, everything is changing, and we are fighting to stay the same. We're fighting to, we're fighting that change. And that brings a lot of pain a lot of discomfort, and we think we're doing us, ourselves a service because we're staying where we are, maybe it's safe, maybe it's cozy, maybe it's good, and maybe other people, when you do want to change, are like, hey, but why are you doing that? Like, stay there, you're good. But if you're in tune, or if you're open to listening to that voice, eventually you just can't fight it. It's gonna start coming out in, in many different ways, sometimes destructive, sometimes positive, but it's gonna try to come out. And so, in 100% full transparency and honesty, there's been a change wanting to happen as a company, the direction we're going, the kind of content we're creating, the platforms we're on. And I started making up some pretty interesting stories, like, hey, now we have a team. Hey, we've got clients. Hey, we've got these responsibilities. It would be irresponsible for me to make drastic changes. And I fought that for like 12 months. Even we, we spent six months in Mexico just exploring beaches and different little beach towns and going into Belize. And every day I woke up knowing that, hey, we need to make a massive change. I don't even call it a, a rebrand. I call it an up brand, the next level, the next level of service, the next level of products, the next level of what we're nowhere capable of. Again, as a company, product and team, but I fought it. Hey, you're doing good. Hey, you're super profitable every month. Hey, your products out. Hey, you have hundreds of testimonials, hundreds of video testimonials. What are you going to do with all those? What if you change the program name? What if you change the direction you're going? What if you start a new company? What's going to happen to the team, to the revenue, to the responsibilities you have? And I get that. But you can only try to remain the same for so long. And if you're growth oriented, like I am, and I'm sure you are, that change is eventually gonna come out in some way. And so, that's, it's, it's funny because oftentimes we quit a job or something and we go into business full time and that was like the scariest thing we've ever done, let's just say. And then two or three years into business, there's gonna be the next level of change. And it's gonna be just as scary as the first change. Even if you have more resources, there's gonna be a story of, well, but now I'm making good money, what if this next thing doesn't make that great money? What if this or that doesn't work? And there's always a next up level. Always. And if we mm, choose, it's a choice. If we choose to fight that change, uh, that's where depression, that's where lack of passion, that's where lack of expansion comes into play. And that is playing small. That's not expansive. That's not big. And that's not what we're about. And so we made a decision as a company to initiate that change. Now, some changes are very, very small. Facebook group, we're shutting down. Maybe you're on this video because you're in the Facebook group and you heard we're shutting it down and now you're here. Welcome, make sure you stay subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's a lot of really, really good stuff coming and there's a lot of good stuff we filmed and there's a lot of good change happening on this YouTube channel. Things like Instagram, I'm gonna be way less involved with Instagram. What platforms do we wanna be on? And where can we make the most impact and what brings out the most joy and creativity in me? Video. So YouTube's gonna be my main source. YouTube's gonna be the place where you and I can sit down like this and if we were sitting in a coffee shop, we'd have a conversation just like this. Much less scripted, much less SEO friendly, and this is the content you have to do, like F that, 
This is the content I want to create. This is what I want to talk about. And that's the kind of impact I want to create. Now, maybe that's not for everybody and that's fine. But for people who get that, who want real, raw, honest, they want to go in deeper, then this channel is absolutely for you. So make sure you hang out, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment. What brings you here? What are you looking for? Any questions you have? How can I help? How can I serve? Two, I don't call this a rebrand. I call this an up brand that came to me actually this morning. I know, pretty creative. And it's a level up. We've run programs like The Coaches You for, I don't know, three and a half years. We've run hundreds, probably four, five, six hundred clients through The Coaches You. We've sold millions of dollars of it. It's really good. It's great. It's excellent. But there's the next level. And something that's been really calling me is entrepreneurship, business building at large. And it's much less about sales and marketing, although that's a massive element to you know the programs that we have coming. But more so, I, I really believe there's something unique. There's a gift we have and it's been given to us. And if we are doing anything other than utilizing that gift, we are constantly going to be recreating our avatars, recreating our business. We're constantly going to be in this state of indecision, which is like an extremely painful state full of suffering when you can't make a decision. And I've seen some clients in and out of that. They have all the skills, they have all the tools, they have all the knowledge, but they can't make it work. And they know that they haven't honed in on here's what I'm here to do and here's what I'm doing. And there's alignment with that. They're, they're, we've got to go five, six, eight, nine, ten 10 layers deeper. And so the programs we're rolling out kind of separate the two. One is really about that U2.0, that, that visioning, not goals, but vision. What do we want to create? What are we here to do? What are we here to create? How do we go and take all those gifts and that uniqueness and actually put it out on paper? That's where your messaging comes from. That's where your branding comes from. That's where your entire business will be built from. That's the foundation. And then once we have that locked in, then we can start focusing on building a world-changing, game-changing business, something that creates insane impact. We do specialize in online businesses. We always have. We're just expanding from just coaching and consulting to what's in your heart, what kind of products, what kind of services do you want to create, and let's create an online business that's not just for the money, or that's not just, hey, here's how to get clients. This is what I'm doing for the next five or 10 years of my life, and guess what? The clients that we work with who have that much vision and courage and conviction, clients are the byproduct. Money is the byproduct of building something that creates such an emotional connection with your audience because it's coming through you. You're not even creating it, it's coming through you. Third update is a lot of the topics we're talking about. So in the past, everything was fairly, again, SEO friendly and fairly um, you know, how-to around the sales, the marketing, the, we, we built out sales processes, we've sold millions of dollars of coaching, of services, of courses, of programs, of events, of masterminds, we've helped others do the same. And I'll still be talking about that stuff because that stuff is important. But there's three or four layers deeper that we can go uh, really on a soul level or really on those things that people don't want to talk about. I, for f a fact, I don't know the ratio, but I've probably failed 80% more than I've like succeeded or the ideas that I've tried that died. But all those moments created really powerful lessons. Even over the last seven months where I was kind of an indecision of where do we want to go next, a lot of lessons were learned, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, but a lot of lessons were learned from that. And I think those lessons are some of the most important lessons that we learn. And if I can share those lessons, then not that we'll avoid making mistakes, but maybe we can sense when we're maybe down the wrong path, or maybe we can gain some wisdom. There's a big difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is knowing. We read a book. A lot of people are operating from knowledge, and I really want to just bring the wisdom. Now, I have a lot more to learn. You know, our, our intention is to build a $100 million a year company. Like, there's a lot more to learn. But there's been a lot of lessons. And this YouTube channel is going to be a little bit more raw, real, honest, and conversational. You and me chilling out, chatting. 
So with that said, if that interests you, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment, let me know what's up, why are you here, again, how can I serve you? This YouTube channel is 50% um, for me to be able to share, I get a lot of pleasure and enjoyment out of it, but it's just as much for you. How can I serve you? How can I help you? Any questions you have, anything you'd love to dive into, any topics you'd love to dive into, leave them below. If you're following me on any other platforms, then, you know, I don't turn the notifications on on this YouTube channel because here's where I'm going to be 99% of the time and I'm devoting most of my time and energy into here. With that said, appreciate you and subscribe to this channel. Like, I'll wait 10 seconds. Make sure you do it. All right, perfect. With that said, I'll see you in the next video.